Hi, welcome to another video. I'm back out with the compact camera and I'm doing another shoot what you see. Because sometimes when you're just so uninspired, you're not sure what you want to take photographs of, it's good to flex the muscle. It's good to get out and just take random pictures because I actually find that some of the shots that I take while I'm out doing a shoot what you see is, is actually quite beneficial. Now I'm in Sandwich in Kent. Sandwich is a medieval town which dates back to the 800s, so 800 AD, at the time of the Anglo-Saxons. It's steeped in history. It was in the Doomsday Book. Now, what I hope to capture as I'm walking around, some of the old architecture. We have the River Stour here, which comes along to the old Toll Bridge. There's an old military boat down there, which we'll have a look in a minute. So we're going to take a walk around and, um, yeah, just see if we can capture something. I'll give you a bit about the history of the place when we, um, you know, get to certain places, that kind of stuff. That's called the Fisher Gate, and I think it's the oldest medieval structure still existing. We've got old pubs and old really narrow alleyways, things like that. So I'll get lots of door shots. <laughs> door shots. Is there such a thing? <laughs> so we'll just walk down here and um, I might even get some street photography in, you know? There's lots of people about. Beautiful people, that's what I like to call them. And I'm not sure how long this video will be. It may be half an hour, may even be an hour, but there's no rush. I'm not gonna rush myself. I did that rain photography video and I wasn't particularly happy with some of the results. And that's because I wasn't thinking about settings or anything. I was just literally pointing and clicking down at the quayside. Got all the boats moored up now. Back in the day, and I'm talking the 12th century, this was a very busy seaport. And that's why you had the toll bridge and the booths. You want me in that? No. <laughs> well, I could, I suppose, but... <laughs> I'm always having people wanting to be involved in my videos. So, yeah, let me give you a little bit of the history. Three points of interest here. Richard the Lionheart, when he was um, captured and they paid the ransom, so he came back to England he sailed into Sandwich. This is where Richard the Lionheart landed after he was released from his prison. Then we have the Baron War, and this is during the time of King John. And so what happened was, you know Magna Carta and the fact that the barons were not happy with King John and his raising of taxes and money so that you know, the people just didn't have the, the rights that they wanted. So what they, the, the barons decided that they would usurp the throne and they would invite Prince, <laughs> ducks, they would invite Prince Louis of France to come over and be their king. And he actually was king for about 10 months, although never cor crowned, coronated, crowned, <laughs> kids. I want to tell you so much about it. But I also want to do the photography, so let's walk on a little bit. Back to the story of King John. Prince Louis sailed up the River Store and landed here in Sandwich. Astonishing. So yeah, that's the little bit of history. I think that's, did I say there were three points of interest? I want it to be a bit quieter while I'm looking at things. Lots of people. I think what I'll do is go over to the bridge and um, see if I can get a shot of this military boat here. P22 at the movies. So look, it was used in um, the movie Dunkirk. Look, these are little passing places here, look. Let you stand in. What a nice scene. 
All right, let's let's compose, shall we? It's so easy to just point and click. And then we can take a shot of the boats on the other side. I've got the cranes look for lifting up the boats. Fascinating. People at the pub. Let's take a shot of them. Enjoying their um, lunch. That's come out of the widest angle, 22, 24 mil on this camera. Can I get the mast in? I can't get them all the mast in. Step back a little bit. And then we got the old toll toll gate so in days of yore this bridge and it is narrow bridge um, was the main entrance into sandwich coming over the um from because this would be the isle of thanet is that the isle of thanet if you're in the know let me know just gonna wait for these cars to come through and i might get a shot of the toll bridge from standing on the bridge <laughs> Medieval. I'll do some cropping if I have to. Right, let's walk through here. I've actually got a toll fares, two shillings and sixpence. Nineteen oh five. That says. I think I'll actually get a picture of this old sign here, giving us the information. What I've done, I've actually set the camera into shutter priority and I'm shooting at a hundredth of a second with auto ISO, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Look at that, the old, the Bell Hotel. Can I get a good shot of that? Look at these old buildings. Get a shot straight on, I think of the entrance. Shoot what you see, it gives you the vibe, doesn't it, of just capturing the essence of a, a place. Loving the old alleyways look, Bell Lane. I think I want to come up here, this is the high street. It's got a couple of cut-throughs, so we can um, cut through a couple of the alleyways. Now which one is it? I'm going to carry on up here. <laughs> There's another alleyway just through here that I've... Um, I came through here the other day with my friends. We just came out for a walk. And I was snapping away at, you know, just random things. But I only had my iPhone with me. I thought, you know what? Get out there with your proper camera. Because this is a proper camera. 20 megapixels. Oh, look at that just some tiles why are there some random tiles there do you think they were um all along the entrance there once upon a time i'm looking for holy ghost alley i think that's what it's called <laughs> and this might be it just between these two buildings here <laughs> holy ghost alley i love it is that not straight out of Batman, you know? <laughs> holy keepers, Batman! Or holy ghost, Batman. <laughs> so Sandwich as a town had a wall all the way around it, and I think there are certain parts of the town when you're walking through, you can actually still see parts of the old wall. Look at that. It's the old, um, it's the old sort of beams, the oak beams. Look at this, in the structure of the wall. The old town jail. Astonishing. 
let's get a picture of the door maybe today's video is all about doors doors and architecture that's the old town jail so behind me is holy coast alley look at these old buildings and every one of them is different get a shot of that in a minute let's do the holy ghost alley and the door entrance it has a kind of vibe of a seafaring town so the coast is two miles that was the third thing the coast is actually two miles due east of the town center but in its day it was a proper sea port look at that the old post office we're talking the 50s and the 60s here it's like an old georgian building This is a one-way street, so I can actually walk in the main street. Boutique window. You know me with my boutique windows. <laughs> I might take some photographs of shop windows. That would be interesting. Oh, wow. Have they closed the road? <laughs> They've actually got table of chairs right out in the middle of the road maybe it's a sunday thing i know it's bank holiday monday isn't it that's quite nice it's, it's a gallery gallery is open but i'm just going to get a shot of the window by itself with a man walking by excellent <laughs> reportage photography going on isn't that nice goats the dance capture the architecture of sandwich i'm doing my best not to photograph all the same things i did the other day when i was walking around but we get our inspiration from anything, don't we, as a photographer. So if we're just out and about and we've seen something before, we might just take that picture again. <laughs> All the um, chairs in the middle of the street. I think I kind of want the picture without anybody in it. So I'll just let these two people stroll through. I'm trying to get the best angle here. I've got a truck or a van right let's just have a walk through here see what's going on musically might get a um, picture or two of the performers someone singing a song I can hear and it might be karaoke or it might be somebody playing a guitar oh yeah look the old Scooters. I love a picture of a scooter. Oh, she's just singing. Here comes the copyright. Let's do abstract. Let's get right into the four hubcaps. Let's do some street photography quickly. And because I've got the zoom, I can stand quite far back. It, it goes back to what I was saying, that you don't know what you're going to find when you come out to do a shoot like this what you should be prepared to do is take random pictures of anything all right i'm going to go down there because i think there's an old cinema and there's also some really nice old buildings and some back alleyways i love the old cinema look at that
get it in in landscape I think Empire Cinema stretches down the back you can actually see quite far down how big it actually is it's going to be worth a shot straight on hasn't it make it a square crop and then it goes all quiet it's lovely I could have gone through you know where the, um, the, the chairs were back there I could have turned right goes into the little shop square but <clears throat> I don't find that as interesting it's just got some estate agents charity shops that kind of thing but I think I'm more inclined to take some of these architecture building shots because not only is the village ancient and old do I go up that way yes I do I'll go up that way in a second but it also has a feel of like the 50s and the 60s it kind of still holds that feeling for me so I'm going to go up this alleyway but I'm going to see if I can get a few shots of the door fronts of the houses because I think they're quite quaint you know what I haven't noticed if there are any blue plaques <laughs> Sometimes um, you see a blue plaque, don't you? Blue doors and yellow doors. And I'm going to clone out that bin because it's such a shame that that bin is the <laughs> caddy for waste food. Oh, look at that house. That's well done up. Primrose Cottage. I can't really get a good shot of it because I'm only at 24 mil. If you're going to walk around here, you want like a 10 to 14, you'd get the whole house in there, wouldn't you? The whole aspect of it. Look at this old brickwork. I don't know what that is. Is that modern? I'm going to take a picture of it though. Some kind of um, etching in the Brickwork, Vicarage Lane. Get these old walls, look at these. Now let me think. That goes back to the harbour, so I think we'll cut through here. That's a nice shot with the leading lines. Get down here and get a very low down leading line shot. So yeah, I'm out doing point and shoot, but I shouldn't stop thinking about composition. You know, taking my shots. Isn't that quaint? Look at that wall with the plants and the way the sun is shining over it and the lamp. Can I get anything out of that? Aspect is all wrong. I find that if I hold the camera at an angle, then I get that convex kind of look. It needs to be straight on and in order to capture all of that I need to be at the right height but I can't be at the right height look at that it's like the last time that was used was the 60s <laughs> an old garage front right I think I'm almost done back down towards the harbour let's walk down here see if we get couple of more shots of something because what we have here look at this old Tudor building my namesake right <laughs> but I'm going to take a picture of that sign surrounded by the Tudor beams dragon hall I'm seeing that that looks really interesting I like that front door very much. Dragon Hall, it says. Were dragons a big thing during the Elizabethan time? <laughs> we ask ourselves. Another alleyway, Priory Gate. Goes down towards the harbour there. Overhanging buildings. And a Corvette. Quick, get the shot. 
shot of a Corvette going through the town, making a noise. But if I do some composing with these hanging baskets, I might actually be able to get kind of a nice composition. Get them all in. I'm aware there's traffic coming. Quite a few people having coffees. The Strand Street kitchen and bar. I've had coffee and food in there and it's very pleasant. Actually, let's go through here. Because I'm not really in a hurry and I don't care how long this video is going to be. And that's partly because, and I was watching Adam, you know, first man photography the other day. And bless him, he's always having a whinge and a moan. <laughs> His photography is excellent, I can't de question that. Um, I don't follow him, but one of his videos came up on my feed. Um, and he was actually talking about the algorithm and how it's changed everything for photographers on YouTube. And I think it's changed everything for everybody on YouTube. And you, you, you just have to go with the flow. But the lady's doing some carving, so let's take a picture real quickly. Excellent. Yeah, you just have to go with the flow. And I think where I'm going with that is the fact that we do the videos for our pleasure. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy taking pictures. And, um, you know, if I can make a video of it, then all good and well. And maybe somebody will watch the video. Maybe someone will like the video. I said they were estate agents and charity shops, age concern, look. So we saw the other side of the church. I came out through that way. There's a couple of nice shops here, nice shop fronts. I think I can take a couple of shots of these because they look old, you know. They're old. And I want to capture them. That's that one. <laughs> Miss K, accessories and women's wear. Goes back to my previous video where I did the ship in. What is the purpose of my photography? What am I taking pictures of and why? And, you know, if I was perhaps hoping that some... I, I could contact them and say, look, I've taken this picture of your shop front. Would you like to purchase it and maybe use it on your website? Or maybe they'll look at it and they'll say, hey, can we commission you? So you never know. So it's just nice to um, take pictures of absolutely everything. Lovely old house with a little sign in front of it. Where am I going? I'll take a picture of this Banksy. Or is it a pretend Banksy? You let me know. It looks very Banksy-ish. But it might be just somebody having a little play. <laughs> because you never know what you're going to see, right? <laughs> is it a Banksy? You never can tell. Let me know if you know if it's a genuine one. It's got that funny um, stencil type in the face there. Happy New Year, it says on the balloon. But she's lost a balloon. Oh, there's my penny cat. Let's go through here. Voyage of discovery. Just finding things to take pictures of. The cottage. I like that little pink house. Because it's on shutter priority, it chooses the aperture, and I've got the ISO set, so I'm not really worried about lights and stuff. I have no idea where I am now. I'm completely lost track. I saw that. That looks really nice with the, the shape of the glass in the windows. Let's crop in. Don't see that kind of glass much anymore, do you? Town Trail, Three Kings Yard. Where am I? Oh, look. So I went up there, didn't I? Love Lane. I went up Love Lane. <laughs> you have to go up Love Lane every now and again. Bespoke kitchens and interiors. So we're back out at the Bell. I think what I'll do is 
we'll go back down this little alleyway down here and then I will conclude the video. Life in own hands. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got a couple of people having a cigarette. Right, I'm going to walk down here because I think this is the final stretch. Yeah, so Adam at um, First Man Photography has said that earning a living on YouTube is all played out. You can't do it anymore because of the algorithm and because of the way that you have to constantly churn out videos and, you know, kind of race that algorithm to make sure that you're on the ball all the time. I'm particularly not worried about that. I just put the videos out because I enjoy making the videos, you know. So what have we got here? I've got some classic cars. I might be able to end the video with a classic car shoot. The Rotary Club duck. Oh, it's the duck race. You're supposed to pay a quid for a duck. And then, um... Hey, sorry folks, but it's a classic car meet, so I'm going to take some pictures of classic cars. The camera's rolling. Just keep the camera rolling. We'll go down one way and come back up the other. So, bonus feature. We've got classic cars. Little MGB. And I'm going to get down on my knees for some of these shots. I'll only take pictures of cars that move me like the Ford Escort here <laughs> with the tape on the wing and we've got Hillman Imp how lovely is that oh look MG <laughs> an M MG Maestro what do they call it? Um, unexceptional. There's a festival, Festival of the Unexceptional. But I hankered after one of these as a teenager. I always thought they were good cars. And in fact, I ended up having a Maestro, uh, a Metro, no, Maestro, the estate car version. Jaguar. Is that a modern classic? <laughs> Volkswagen Polo. Oh, look at that Ford console, isn't that beautiful? Next to a Celica. Oh, look at this Mini. <laughs> it's actually got picnic hamper in the back. <laughs> and it's for sale, 21,000. Get your checkbook out. <laughs> Rolls Royce, doesn't do it for me. However, this Triumph GT6 Mark II does. Is that not special? What a nice feature. I didn't know this was here. And that's why I say, always keep the camera rolling. We'll go back up the other side in a minute. I'm going to take a picture of every car. Name them if you can. P4? Or was it P3? Jensen Interceptor. To that Jag 420 with the white wall tyres. Let's do an abstract shot of the headlight and the white wall tyre. Nice. Oh, look at that Aston Martin. I only like it because of the persuaders. Because <laughs> Brett Sinclair drove a, an, an orange one, didn't he? And talking of Brett Sinclair, he also played the Saint and he drove a P1800. Volvo's entry into the sports car market. Go on, you know you love them. Morris Minor Traveller. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not a classic car. Someone's just showing off. That's what you are. A selection of English sports cars. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice shot, actually. The 1800 with the sun shining on it. Lovely. 
In fact, I want a shot with nobody in it. That's the photographer in me. I'm on my sink and you back off. It's not going to happen. Oh, they've moved away now. That gets me my shot. That doesn't. <laughs> I think the white, the round headlights did it for me, and that's what the XR2 had, the round headlights, which I absolutely loved. Okay, so just a few more little Messerschmitt TR6. Austin Healy 1300 and then some old timers which do not move me at all let's cut through here so that really was a shoot what you see session <laughs> little walk around sandwich what a lovely little village very antiquated medieval structures and I only touched scratch the surface is that what they say scratch the surface of that and then at the end we get some classic cars what a bonus Okay, I'll have to have a think about my next release. <laughs> Either just go out randomly and take pictures or actually seriously think, maybe get the tripod out and the DSLR, you know. You can't go wrong with a little compact camera. It really does serve a great purpose. So thank you for watching. I've no idea how long the video is because I've just left the cameras rolling, but I will edit it. Um, but I think it's worth just leaving the whole thing up. And that's what I'm going to do. So thank you again. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.